What's up guys, welcome back to 3G Video. Today we are at day one of Sick Week 2024. We're getting ready to get some racing action. There's actually a marriage going on up at the starting line. Pretty cool to start off the day. We're gonna go around the pits, check in with some of the drivers, see uh, see who all is here, what, uh, what we're looking for today. Get to some racing and then hit the road. So it's gonna be a great day. Let's get started with today's video. here last night because they didn't have to drive them to the hotel fit hadn't started yet but now they are gonna have to drive them everywhere it's gonna be so much fun we got Cletus's crew over here got a lot of our big name and faster cars over here on the left in quarantine the crazy Porsche there's a lot of cool stuff here this year Started with our big tire AMB class we have Alex yesterday of a 973 this car is normally running like 990s so uh pretty cool they got the cage in it things working down here in the good air Let's see what he put down for his pass today hopefully it works Check so we saw you go out there like one of the first cars down we you, you told me yesterday that this thing's gonna be running 990s okay that, that's what i'm expecting you go down and run a 69 what what happened <laughs> um and i don't know the air is so good out here and the track prep is like fantastic and yeah. uh it's the same tune-up as a 994 it just it just went it's that's so awesome cool. well that's cool so what is your plan now since you, it's kind of an outlier going so fast are you trying to slow it down to get something or no, i'm gonna just do another one see if it repeats see if it was a fluke and um just decide on the which time shift to hand in okay and awesome. then go from there the air is really good i don't know if it'll keep doing this all week yeah so it'll probably slow down yeah but we did uh 970 twice yesterday in a row and the air was a thousand foot higher than today. Oh wow! Okay. So, you know, I'm in the ballpark. Yeah. You know, so awesome. Well, 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 we'll keep an eye on you all week because that's yeah. that's pretty awesome. That's your two per that's personal best yeah, ever, right? Every class has been personal best. Dude. In, and in the car. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Yeah, you got the cage. Now you can go as fast as you that's want. Right. <laughs> awesome. Well, dude. Good. Well, good luck on your next pass. We'll Thank see you out there. Lot. Yep. One of our unique cars, right hand drive, convertible Beetle, does wheelies, it's really fast, it's in that B class, this thing's sick.
it over in the right lane. They're happy with that one. Issues. I think uh, it said CO2 might not have been on. Oh, that's frustrating. About to come back around later and try to get another pass in. Another pair of our big tire cars. Should be a good pass here. Got a little bit of fluid down, so they're gonna get that cleaned up. Hopefully, everything's all good. That was good pass. Okay, so they're cleaning uh, the track up a little bit, and uh, we got a lot of the fast cars still to come. So, I mean, obviously, we haven't made a lot of passes yet. He's a backup. Already made his personal best. He's backup. Got a whole line of fast cars. They're firing the cars again up here, so uh, let's have to see some fast passes. on everything he took the corner at the end real hot i hope he's okay And we're gonna go check in with some of the drivers here in the lanes. I'm gonna try to get some interviews real quick with this co-driver. They're trying to run 450s this week as an average. They're in the rowdy radio, so it's an eighth mile um, car. But this thing is pretty crazy. It's got a Steve Morris engine in it with a big blower. Uh, hats vertical, you know, just kind of a little bit different, kind of crazy. It'd be really cool to see this out on the street uh, for sure this whole week. So one of our crazier rides, but again, there's a ton of really cool, really fast stuff. I gotta stuff sneak up on you here in the lanes. So how's it going? It's going okay. Well, we'll know here in 15 minutes. Yeah. How did how was your test pass yesterday? Were you okay? Spun through first on both, so trying to figure that out. Okay. You think you got a solution for it for your I first hope pass? So. Okay. It's got a really slow boost ramp in it. So. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck. Have a good pass. Appreciate and, uh, it. Thanks we'll so much. There. Yep. Okay, let's see if we got it figured out. That Corvette is so nasty. Let's see what it can get. Let's 
793 at 183. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> back up Tom Bailey is making his path car on the property so far the opal put down a stellar pass is actually uh rivals some of uh, lutz's passes however uh, we're gonna see what he can put down i know he's shooting for that place well in your class break records it takes a lot to get uh the points to become the world champion and that is what mr goldstone did last year seeing if he can defend his title again this year starting off with sick week uh he's not the fastest car here by any means but the thing is stout and it's reliable these guys push through a lot and it's a proven car They do have a new C7, but uh, was not able to have it ready in time for this event. So he's back to the old C2. This thing is nasty still. Don't, don't be fooled because it's not the new car. that last pass so let's see if he can come back around do it again this car was is very proven he went to death week and made like 24 passes the last day of death week this thing uh just keeps on ticking all the way from the yukon that's insane <laughs> So that's about where he was expecting it to be. The uh, got a little bit warmer, so the air's not as good. Man, that's awesome. The tires just finish up. We're back in the lanes here with our small tire, our radial tires. We got Vanderhoof, got Allen, we got uh, Glenn. There's a lot of, I mean, you can go down the line. There's Snot Rocket. There's so many fast cars out here. Uh, we're going to have some fun watching these radio cars get down. And we got some wild stuff. Lanes. Found Blaine. Dude, you just got your license. I saw that on the YouTubes. I actually just got it. Submitted. Dude. Like, actually, legit. So. Okay. Awesome. So, what are we what are we running this week? We're running a little Toro. It's a 90 Fox body Mustang with a Coyote swap and an 84 millimeter turbo. Awesome. So, what's your goal for the week? Uh, hopefully, by the end of the week, we go four. If not, like, top five-ish. Uh, awesome. There's only eight cars in uh, Rowdy Radio, so we'll see. Okay. Cool, man. Well, good luck. Have a lot of fun. It's cool to see you uh, getting up to the point now yeah. that you have your license and you can do it yeah, all yourself. We, we so. can rip now. That's awesome, dude. Awesome. Well, Thanks. have a good week. We'll see you out there. Yeah. Looking for that uh, 5 0 or 490 in the eighth mile uh, with the Rowdy Radio class. It's a very unique class. So apparently, uh, apparently, there's only eight cars. It's going to be fun. Okay guys, we 
we are getting started with our radial cars. These cars are not something to sleep on. We always think of our big tire cars as being the fastest, the baddest. These cars are wild. Steve Morris engine in that car. And then we have Devin Vanderhoof's Mustang out here. They are, their goal is to run 650 average on a 275 tire this week. That's nuts. So let's see this go down. We got Snot Rocket back there. We got Glenn. This is going to be fun. That is a new record in drag drive history of the fastest radial car ever to go quarter mile in drag drive. That's huge. And we got Snot Rocket. Um, this is his first drag drive with this car. What he can do with uh, Ruby and the new setup from Leroy, that should be it. yesterday because they didn't make a pass we saw them uh, go through tech but the fd rx7 with the bail side kit on it a wind turbo ls deal pretty uh pretty different to see out uh, on a dragon drive event i like it i'm pretty excited to watch them all week hopefully they do well now they're in a class so they should be pretty spell today 931 for the truck and a 1208 obviously it's a uh, we got this Pontiac wagon to protect the internet by storm the zoomies out the fenders thing is pretty wild they're rolling four deep in that this week uh another just crazy thing and we're seeing out here uh yeah it's been a it's been some awesome stuff this week already Mustang at Nostalgia Nights. Uh, you guys just saw the videos come out not too long ago, but it was over the summer. Beautiful car, it sounds really cool with that flat penny crank, it's turbo, it almost sounds like an Having some issues. Goes down to a 1020, obviously. 
obviously that car is way faster than that. So I hop back in the lanes. We already have cars leaving. C-Class cars are in the lanes getting ready to make their passes. Had an oil down. Waiting on that. I came back here to get some shots and everything. Hang out with, with my friends out in the lanes. So anyway, we're going to be getting through this oil down. We'll get these guys through and then we're going to try to hit the road as early as we can. Obviously, we got clients and stuff. So got to kind of do a little juggling act today. We're definitely going to get out of here, here for a second. The Opal, um, as you can tell, had some damage up there, but they're kind of got it bent out and fixed. Not too bad. They're going to be able to keep continuing. That was a really fast pass that they put down. I think it kind of shocked some people how fast this thing really is. That was awesome. Right there. See that? Oh, yeah. So your oil pump locked up on you? Is that what? Yep. It just completely locked up? Yep. So, so. it stopped. When it stopped, the belt, where's that belt at? Uh, right. It just shred the belt? Or? It just slips the oh, belt yeah. on yep. the crankshaft because it's still turning and the oil pump locked up. So it just sheared the belt. So okay. we, we um, and the good thing about it is, is it just shuts the the fuel is driven off back here off the cable. Okay. Yep. So when it stopped, the fuel stopped. And just shuts the engine off. And okay. our safety with no oil pressure shuts the engine off. So I just okay. coasted to a 717 at 191. Man, that's so moving. <laughs> that's my best pass. So next time, if I don't screw up, because I've only got one extra oil pump left, yeah. um, then we'll, we'll try to go maybe like an 830 or something, because it usually don't go faster, you go backwards, yep. or you gotta go forward. No, okay, well. No big deal. I'm glad everything's okay. I heard yeah. heard there was some parts work over here, and I just wanted to go over and check on you, so. Well, cool, it's man. a nice day. I figured I had nothing better to do. If I was well, gonna change your oil, I might as well change an oil pump. There you go. There you go. Well, good luck. We'll see you out on the road, hopefully. And All right. Let's have a safe travels. Okay. Thanks. You guys are awesome. So you broke two, and I didn't even know it. You made a beautiful pass earlier, and then Snot Rock came and might, may or may not oh, have. Oh, yeah, he stepped it up a little bit. Just a little bit. He stepped it up. What happened to, what happened to the rig? We're not 100% sure. It looks like something in the valve train like that. Uh, we haven't got it to a bar yet to see how bad it is, but it doesn't look real good. So you're just, you're done? Yeah, and, I think we're done. Okay, so. so yeah, I got your trailer over there hooked up to the other truck. Yeah, we're going to call it and get on the road here later yeah. today. I understand it, but it'll be sad to not have you guys along with us. Oh, yeah. I, I promise you we didn't want this to happen yeah. this way. Oh, for sure, for sure. Well, yeah. we look forward to seeing you guys come back better and oh, see yeah. what, what you guys end up with. We'll definitely be back. Awesome. Oh, well, man. have a good one, man. <laughs> okay, well, it's just Carnage Row over here. We got another car having some issues. One, that was a beautiful wheelie. Absolutely on point. Uh, what, what's going on? Yeah, burned up. Uh, burned up at least one of them. Got number number one, right? Number two. Number two. Number two. Got number two over here. Um, probably eyebrowed it or something. We don't know. EGTs look good. And, uh, everything looked happy until it wasn't. So uh, he knocked it out. We're about to pull the head off this thing. We got this is the green. We're going to throw one in. See if we can't make it to the next one. Awesome, man. Well, good um, luck. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you out on the road or or tomorrow or whatever. You know, yeah. whatever, whatever you make yeah. it. But. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's for a sure. one and done today, just not the one and done we like to do. Yeah, I understand. Well, it's definitely a lot of carnage today, but I'm sure you guys will get it. And good luck, and we'll see you later. We saw you make a pass yesterday. Today, you're getting ready to make your first pass of the event, and yesterday was your first time racing this truck, correct? Correct. Awesome. So what's your thoughts on it? What do you think? My thoughts are it's uh, it's a lot of fun. There's there's a lot of buttons that I'm not used to, a lot of things that I have to remember, but I got through them yesterday and it found me a little bit. Uh, you know, nice here today, so I hope we go a little bit faster, a little bit better wheelie. Okay. But I'm, I'm I guess I okay. say I'm more excited than I am nervous now. Good, and I need a big burnout. I know. I big, guess. big burnout, yeah, okay? Big burnout. That was part of the problem yesterday. I got okay. chicken out on the burnout, but we'll, we'll Nick might have told me to tell you that, but it's yeah, fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna give it to you. So. Cool. Well, yep. have fun. We'll see you out there. Burn out. It sounds like the throttle's kind of stuck. That was weird. It had a high idle. That was weird.
165. That's listen, boys. In the Tesla Plaid Swap minivan. That's a, that's an interesting. It's so quiet. Van goes down to 1061. That's a pretty quick minivan. That's for sure. Well, we've had a lot of oil downs. That's why this video has been so uh, choppy and weird. But uh, we have one of our guys coming up. We're in the D-Class now. We have one of our guys from Death Week. Homeboy ran up to Seattle in the middle of Death Week. Got back in time to run. They swapped the engine. They swapped the engine on the way here because they blew the other one up. Now they're going to got another amc engine somehow they found it in the woods and then stuffed it in here and apparently it's a little more peppy than it used to be obviously it's still you know d-class and uh, an amc wagon but the thing is cool he just ran a 20 20 at 67 mile an hour they are having a hoot i love so it was another oil down came back into the pits where they're still working on the car look at this there's a piston it's not exactly round and it's apparently wedged in there with the metal shaving so they're uh, getting parts and getting something to get that out, which will be good. Um, I have faith, they're gonna get this back together. And then also found out that they think Alan's car also has the same problem. So it had the oil pump problem, they thought that was it, but apparently there's something more going on there too. So, oh man, a lot of work out of these guys. Hopefully we see them out on the road. As we're getting some track prep done, um, they got uh, some fire going on over here. The outside of the barrel caught on fire, which was pretty good. Uh, they got it out now though, that's unfortunate. Doing track prep because we have some of our fast cars back up in the lanes, including Mr. Jeff Lutz. I think he's trying to get a five. I, I mean, that's the only reason I can think of as to why he's still around. He's got the fastest pass already of the day. I think he wants to get a five average. So we're gonna wait around, see what he does, and we're gonna have to hit the road. Sun's already starting to go down. Man, we're not gonna get a lot out on the road today just because of no light, but we will see what we can get and get to the next track so got schroeder back up he wasn't happy with his first pass either it's gonna be crazy hey, guys. guys they got the track back we have some fast cars up trying to redeem themselves from this morning let's see what they can put down nick taylor is bringing the nova in let's see this happen Like Cletus is off into the sand trap. Cletus did end up in the gravel a little bit, not too bad. Looks like he slid into it though. I think he's all he's all good. Not too bad. There's the one we've been waiting for. See if he can pull out a five. We know that's his goal, so uh, it should be interesting. Oh, he gets out of it down early. 647, lifting way early at 172. Not what they were looking for. Dave Schroeder is also back up in his C2 Corvette. So early. 
earlier we saw the FD uh, not make a good pass. We knew it had a lot more in it. Okay, back around. Let's see what it's put down now. And the Hearst is back as well. We saw a pass over there. It wasn't that great. And right next to it, we have the Little Red Express. Nice. Does not make it to that seven, but good pass. Hey, Stefan is up in the Corvette. They had an interesting pass earlier with a 13 second. He's definitely trying to improve on that. Let's see what he can put down. Oh, he was all over the place. My goodness. 734 with one of the wildest passes of today, and that's saying something, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Looky there, the Swede is back up. Let's see if he uh, can put it together. He's been all over the place today. So hopefully he can get a bit straight, get a good pass in. And if you look right behind him, there's a yellow Camaro back there that doesn't look like a normal Camaro. Yeah, Lutz is back up and Schroeder's coming back around. They're gonna do the last pass today side by side. That's gonna be awesome. Seven fourteen at one fifty three. All sorts of sideways. Woo! That's not what we wanted to see. So after that crazy pass, we're sending these two guys. Let's see what goes down. Lutz is looking for it. Let's uh, see if he can make it happen here. He has that seven eighteen uh, slip from earlier today to turn in, but. We know he's looking for something else, something that's not, uh, or a 618. Uh, he's, not, he's not looking for that. Does not better his pass as of this morning, and Schroeder has issues. Huh definitely not what we were looking for to finish off the day but those were the last cars down so we can finally hit the road it is dark uh so we're gonna have to hit it and get it to get over to bradenton for racing in the morning uh we're, we're, we might try to hit one of the routes up so i don't think we're gonna follow the route so we're gonna hop in the cars and uh try to get some miles under us okay hopped in the magnum and we still have these guys working hard on their cars tearing the engines down putting them back together man that's ridiculous we have other cars getting ready to leave it's going to be a uh be a long night getting over it, especially considering it's dark the uh, swedes have to change over all their stuff they had a crazy pass there to end off the night so uh yeah it'll be a late night for some of these guys getting into bradenton but we will see all of them in the morning if not out on the road here after a while popped out on the road and we ended up behind jesse harris in that uh orange and white c10 with the big cummins in it you can kind of see them there it is <laughs> we're uh getting ready to pull out onto the main road here still kind of fun to drive even in the night with the guys fancy seeing you guys here I mean, it's a miracle what happened <laughs> i think the transmission's hurt oh i usually have it refreshed over the winter time and did all this work to the rear end didn't take the transmission to, to the guy and Service like, it and probably should have like <laughs> probably should have left it alone. But I hear him say the same thing. All right, we'll cut. It does. Uh, That's still, cool though. It's still on a 970 at 141. So hey, that ain't bad. We're on the drive. That's cool. 
pulled in. Well, uh, Jesse just pulled in. So you guys rolling together then? Yeah, he got, he got a little, so we couldn't all get out of the track at the same time and he got a little split up from us. So oh, okay. Went left at the fork instead of right. And, Oops. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, you'll have that. Yeah, we'll have a safe drive. Hopefully, we'll we might see you on or whatever. We'll see yeah. you at some point. I'm sure, so. we'll see you at checkpoints. Yeah. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Sounds good, man. Be safe. Seven yeah. Eleven. <laughs> they have this drink. It's horchetta or something. I don't know. It's like a milk kind of base. I don't know. And then they have uh, pizza and a sub and this like cheese breadstick thing. I don't know. Got to get some food. It's so nice to be back and hearing race cars drive by while we're along the route. That is so sick. Got Jesse Harris's truck over there getting gas. This is, oh, I have missed this. It's good to be back. The car to eat, and we got cars rolling in, and now a couple of our guys leaving there. Got the crazy C2. Got the hearse rolling in. Ma'am, this 7 Eleven is popping. Look at ST over here. They actually like burnt a piston out of it today, so they are trying to find a piston. They're, it's still running. Still driving, they're gonna try to limp it over to the Freedom Factory to get the laps in. And then they think they found a piston. These guys, uh, we already saw the hearse, but the red Nova just pulled in. This thing is so sick. <laughs> okay, well, that's exciting. Okay, so between catching on fire, we got four cars rolling in. That's basically a checkpoint, I mean, at this point. You got any excitement for me? I had a car just catch on fire down there, so. No. Got anything go crazy no, over here? Excitement. Okay, I don't either. <laughs> okay, good. We went 7 Eleven. Yeah? 7-Eleven at 195, personal best for the... That's good. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually saw it. We were there. We saw that. That was awesome, man. What is, what's the goal for the week with the car? Sixes. Okay. Cool. Like the rest of them. Rest of them sixes. Okay. Cool. Well, good luck. And, yeah. uh, yeah, we'll see you out on the road. It's a beautiful okay. car, by the way. I, Thank you. I don't know if I've ever told you, but I love the color, so... Thanks. Uh, Cool. All right, well, that was definitely exciting and a pleasant treat to get to see everybody coming through the gas station here. We're going to hit the road. I think we're going to cut a little section off that would add a lot of time. Uh, that way we can just kind of cut down, get over to Bradenton Motor Sports Park in a timely manner and probably still see some race cars that left earlier whenever we get back up on the route. So let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, we stopped to get some drink. We got back on the route and we found one of our race cars. They actually were stopped on the side of the road. And then we stopped to check on them, but they were already ready to go. So now we stopped and they stopped. So how, what, what happened? What were you guys pulled over for? I had to put some fuel in. Oh, okay. So not, nothing big. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Actually, we ran right out of fuel. What? <laughs> you're, not getting, you're not getting 30 miles a gallon? Come on. Dang it. Press it on the damn pedal too hard. There you go. Trip going well, though? Everything's going good. Good. You having fun? Oh, yeah. Good. Even good, though good, it's 1130 at night. Well, you know, <laughs> that is part of it. Well, it's interesting. It's, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Today was a long one for it sure. Was a long but, day. yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit quicker for everybody and we'll, for we'll sure, have some bro. fun. So, cool. I'm glad you guys are doing good. <laughs> Just a little bit of gas. Yeah, so. a little bit of gas. Good. I guess our shortcut didn't work that well. Um, I mean, I guess we did stop and take showers and stuff, but. They caught back up to us. What is this? Guys, it was pretty uneventful. We got some race cars going by. The rest of the trip was fairly easy. Uh, we are here at Bradenton now. Uh, we're going to be seeing some racing in the morning. Got parked up. Going to camp the night. So we're looking forward to a great day tomorrow of racing here at Bradenton. Hopefully we'll get a little more in the uh, daylight of the drive and see some cars out on the road. But thank you guys for joining me. As always, have a blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys next time.